Christo Columbus's Italian origin had hardly been questioned until up to the time when the theory of a Galician Columbus was proposed in Spain. Between 1892 and 1898, the Galician, Celso García de la Riega, defended the idea of Christo Columbus as Spanish, locating his origins in Galicia, specifically in Pontevedra, where there was a Genoese colony, and he maintained that Columbus hid his origin because of his links with the Jewish community. The hypothesis of a Catalan Columbus was proposed in 1927 by the Peruvian Luis de Ulloa y Cisneros. He bases the theory of a Catalan origin for the discoverer of America on the fact that the surname Colom is native to Catalonia and differentiates it from the Genoese Columbus, which he had nothing to do with, according to that author. On the same lines as Ulloa's theory, there is the idea of a Mallorcan Columbus. This was proposed by Janas de Nouveau in the 60s, and it continues to be defended nowadays with considerable enthusiasm by Gabriel Verde Martorell. The theory is based on a letter from Angleria to Juan de Borromeo, dated in 1494, where it is said that the explorer was native to Mallorca and not to Liguria. The main proponent of the idea that Columbus was from Ibiza is Nito Verdera. He maintains that Christopher Columbus was born in Ibiza, spoke in Catalan, and that Christopher Colombo and Christopher Columbus were not the same person. The claim that Columbus was from Guadalajara turns out to be even more tenuous. Its authors aim to relate the explorer to the high Castilian nobility by proposing that he was son of the Duchess of Arjona, Aldonza de Mendoza, and the Count of Trevino, Diego Gómez Manrique. The theory of a Portuguese Columbus didn't appear very early on, but it can't be left out. Despite the fact that Portugal was always at the centre of many crucial moments in Columbus' life, it has hardly got off the ground. Romeo de Armas has defended the version of a Christopher Columbus who was not born in Portugal, but a Portuguese naturalised citizen, and he maintains that he was known that way in the Castilian court. There are some people who see Columbus as an outstanding member of the Portuguese nobility. In 1940, Salvador de Madariaga reviving old proposals which had related the explorer to the Jewish world, made a strong case for a Sephardic Columbus. He maintained that Jewish blood ran in Columbus' veins and that he had had Spanish ancestors who fled after the persecutions in 1391. Other adventurous theses that have hardly been worthy of attention because of their lack of seriousness and consistency have wanted to make him into an Extremaduran, mixing up the Extremaduran Placentia with the Italian Piacenza, Corsican, English, French, Greek, and even Swiss. These theories were born as a result of a strange mixture of legends, traditions, and the selfish work of genealogists, and even of opportunist forgers, but they could not stand the passage of time and the shadow of history. The theory of a Genoese Columbus, which is the most credible for me, maintains that he was born into a modest family of wool dealers and weavers in the town of Genoa around 1451. His parents were Domenico Colombo and Susanna Fontana Rosa, who had a clear Jewish origin. From the beginning of the 15th century, not before, there is a Columbus family in the lands near Genoa. Their sudden appearance in those lands made some experts wonder whether they might have arrived in an escape from elsewhere for religious reasons. This theory cannot be easily discounted. It is easily observed that the last name, Colombo, Colomb, Colomo, or Coulomb, is often found in the triangle made up by Genoa, Catalonia, and the Balearic Islands. Language which is usually closely related to birthplace and political homeland, 
is another point at issue in relation to the explorer. Columbus was able to speak, or at least to stumble through, a thousand languages, as he was a seaman. It is possible, then, that this is the case of a typical seaman who stumbles through a thousand languages without being fluent in any of them, and that Columbus used some kind of regional Mediterranean sailor slang. After what has been said, the link that anyone might wish to find with Castile will be understood even more clearly.